The internet can be a great and powerful tool. It spreads knowledge, it spreads discovery, does a lot, a lot of positive things. But there are a lot of dangers out there, and no one knows that better than parents. According to the nonprofit group, the Canadian Centre for Child Protection, 80% of parents believe the internet can be a danger for the sexual exploitation of children. Yet only half of all parents speak to their kids about it. That leaves a big hole to fill. While there are no specific requirements to teach internet safety in schools, a lot of Montreal schools have been taking the lead. The Lester B. Pearson School Board was one of the first in Canada to institute a cyber safety course, and the EMSB soon followed suit. But as Alexa Everett tells us, to complement the school's efforts, parents must still remain vigilant. This fifth grade class at Royalville Elementary School is learning about what personal information is safe to post online. They're constantly hearing about the dangers of the web, but is the message getting through? Well, I go on Instagram and Snapchat. I, I don't put in my real birth dates, so I don't really put in all my privacy. But you uh, put and, in your name? Yeah. Almost a third of kids in grade 4 to 11 say they would provide their real names and addresses to sign up for an email account or to create a profile on a social media platform. Many of the kids are younger than the minimum age required to have a social media account. While they readily reveal their personal information, they're quick to change their birth date in order to bypass the system. I put my information, but some, app, but some apps are like you have to put in your birthday, but if you're not old enough, you can't have the app. So I could just put my uh, not, it's not real birthday. Aaron Prosser teaches DCP during the hour a week ethics portion of his curriculum. I would consider that to be more of a parental issue in terms of the access because I can't say to a child in my classroom whether they should or they shouldn't have access. I can tell them what the rules are and I can guide them into responsible behavior but it would be mostly up to the parent I think in order for them to teach their children the responsible usage. The curriculum follows students from kindergarten to the end of high school. It teaches them what tools they can use to help them with their schooling and what programs to steer clear from. Generally we try to include it in to the literacy program and ethics, so how to be a good citizen online, uh, how to treat each other responsibly, how to recognize dangers, um, how to even maintain a healthy posture when using uh, a computer. Terry Cutler is an ethical hacker. He digitally breaks into companies, trying to find holes in their system before the bad guys do. He is trained in Washington with the FBI and CIA. In 2011, he helped the Lester B. Pearson School Board create their digital citizenship program, one of the first in the country and the first in Montreal. I've actually presented to uh, uh, the grade ones at, the, at one point where, you know, career day, what does your parents do for a living? And I was very surprised to hear that some of the kids in the class already knew about the hacking tools that I use. Cutler says that teaching digital citizenship is also time sensitive because the content kids are posting now can return to haunt them later in life. Obviously, whatever you post online stays online, right? When kids get careless with their online identities, because later on as they hit high school, uh, they're going to start posting more and more online. They're going to have their own online accounts. And sometimes they'll create or they'll, they'll post photos of themselves where uh, it was inappropriate or, you know, they're at a party and whatever. And this can come back and bite them later on when employers start looking at their profiles. The Montreal Police and even Google offer resources and programs about online safety, but the Commission Scolaire de Montréal does not. Cutler says the future of today's children is tied into technology, making digital literacy imperative. Well, my son had, a, had an email account as a kindergarten, an email account. So, but now what, what's, what's good about this is that you cannot email my, I can't email my son, it's internal only. So we as the parents can log in to the student's account from home and check the homework because everything is now digital. This year, one in three Canadian parents feel that they cannot keep up with the apps, games and other technology that young people are using. Cutler says that not being digitally savvy is no excuse. So now with your child explain to, and have them explain to you what this is because the internet has so much vast of information for you to grow but there's a lot of hidden dangers on it as well. Rick Weber's children attend Royal Vale Elementary School. While he doesn't have Facebook, his children do. But he says that he has the passwords to their accounts. <laughs> but I'm trying to strike a balance between uh, an invasion of privacy but making sure that they, you know, don't inadvertently 
expose themselves to things they shouldn't. I think intellectually, as soon as they can understand that this is a device and what it's connected to, the, the better. I mean, it's a tool. And uh, the sooner they can understand what that tool is capable of, both for good and for bad, like a knife. You know, it's, it's for cutting and it's a good thing, but it can also cut you and be a bad thing. Weber applauds the DCP taught in English schools for their role in helping his kids to tackle the digital world. You know, I don't think parents should rely on schools to teach their kids anything, you know, about life. I think it's a parent's responsibility. But I think when kids hear things like this in school, it, it, it comes to them differently. And having a teacher tell you, don't talk to strangers or don't do this or don't do that, you're, the kid, I think, will hear it differently than if the parent says it. So I think it's good to get it in both. For now, the continued conversation at home and in school is working to keep kids safe. Um, I don't usually use the internet a lot at home because my parents aren't really comfortable with me going on the internet a lot. Parents are happy to compliment what their children are learning in school about digital safety at home. English schools continue to lead the way when it comes to their digital citizenship program, something they believe should be taught in all schools across the city. Alexa Everett, NDG, City Life.